After two nights of postponements due to the weather, high school basketball returned to Southern West Virginia Thursday night, including a county rivalry in boys class single A. Fayetteville traveling to Valley in a matchup with the two Region 3 representatives at State's last March. Let's go out to Smithers, where the Greyhounds and Pirates both looking to remain unbeaten during the second week of the young season. We pick it up in the first quarter. Jonathan Belay over to Gabe Mack who has space to shoot, and he puts the Pirates on the board first. Fayetteville making plays early. Malay faking a shot, throws to Luke Vass, who scores off of the glass, and the Pirates have an early 6-4 lead, but the Greyhounds respond. Nick Gibson going down court, finding space to dribble inside and connect on the layup. Valley continuing to make plays. Luca Giannini dribbles to the right. Malay blocks the layup attempt, but the ball stays in play. Gibson regaining possession and connects on the basket. Valley taking the lead, and the Greyhounds keeping momentum. Gibson to Adam Falbo to Giannini, who connects for three. Valley has the 19-7 lead after one. Second quarter, Stevie Lawhorn to Dylan Bryant, who is open for three at the top of the key. Count the basket. However, Gibson would regain momentum for Valley, passing it to Nathan Kincaid. Open for three from the wing. Count it. And then Gibson would connect on a buzzer beater to end the first half as Valley gets the home win final score, 74-30. Also in Fayette County, Midland Trail girls hosting Greater Beckley on Thursday. First quarter, Grace Mitchell at midcourt, but Skyler Lesher creates the turnover and drives in for the layup. Lady Patriots with the early momentum. And then after a defensive rebound, Jenny Wilson with a long pass ahead to Lesher. She quickly finds Emily Dickerson, who is able to score from close range. Lady Crusaders looking to answer in the first. Lydia Jordan goes inside the arc. She finds Brooke Daniels, who in turn finds Abigail Hill, who has enough space to score off of the backboard. But then late in the first quarter, Wilson going inside to Laurel Johnson. She goes back out to Letcher for three from the corner. Count the basket, and Midland Trail has the lead after one. Second quarter, Lady Crusaders putting together a run. Daniels with the rebound, kicks out to Jordan for three from the wing. She connects, and then on later possession in the second. Mitchell to Daniels. She finds Jordan open from the corner this time. Count the three, part of a 30-point night for Lydia Jordan. However, Wilson would make a key basket late in the first half as Midland Trail wins at home final score 67-43.